Hey YouTube, it's Shonzi77 and this is a tag response video to All Things Fabulous 101 um, and this is my makeup story so here we go. Um, the first question is how old were you when you first started wearing makeup? Um, and I, like you, Mrs. All Fabulous 101, I began wearing makeup at the age of 12, 13. Um, I initially started um, with just lipstick and eyeliner and I um, specifically remember um, at the time that Fire Engine Red was that famous um, lipstick color and I remember having that in the Wet n Wild brand along with just your regular um, Brucci jet black eyeliner so um, that was my recollection of when I first began wearing makeup at the age. How did you get into makeup? Um, <clears throat> how I got into makeup was um, that at the age of around eight um, I would always um, sit and watch my aunt apply makeup um, and in addition to that I am a very um, artsy um, type of chick so I was always into um, to anything um, that related to the arts which includes um, that of applying makeup so um, that was a big deal for me as well so um, watching my aunt is what really got me into being interested in makeup along with all of the other things that I do. Um, hold on one second someone's ringing my doorbell we'll be right back. Okay I'm back and ready for the third question. The third question is what are some of your favorite brands? Um, some of my favorite brands include um, NARS, um, MAC, Wet n Wild, um, NYX, Urban Decay, um, lots and lots of products. I um, like you, um, all things fabulous. Um, 101. Um, I like all products. It doesn't matter if it's a drugstore brand, um, dollar store brand makeup. Um, I love it all. Um, fourth question. Um, what does makeup mean to you? Um, makeup to me means um, creativity. It means um, individuality and it also means uniqueness um, and sending a message about yourself. Um, if you could only wear four products on your face, what would they be? It would definitely be um, foundation, um, lipstick, eyeliner, and eyeshadow. Um, what is your favorite thing about makeup? Um, the favorite, uh, my favorite thing about makeup is the way it makes me feel. Um, I think that I am a beautiful person both inside and out, um, but when I do put on makeup it, it just adds that little bit of extra spice um, and it makes me feel wonderful and also beautiful. Okay, next question. What do you think about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? Um, in some instances I think that um, in some cases it's just the name and how the product is marketed. Um, I believe in some in some cases that um, some of the drugstore brand makeups um, like e.l.f. or um, even brushes like Sonia Kushik for instance, um, if they were marketed properly I think that they could definitely be considered high-end. Um, so that's that. Um, next question, this is number eight. Um, what is one tip of advice um, you can give to a beginner? Um, one tip of advice that I can give to a beginner is that practice makes perfect. Um, number nine, what is one makeup trend you never understood? Um, I don't know. I mean, makeup is about being creative. So, um, some things it just may not be necessarily for a person to understand. So, um, I really can't, I really don't have an answer for that question. Um, and number 10, what do you think about the beauty community on YouTube? Um, well, I joined the YouTube community um, this year and I what I think about the beauty community here on YouTube is that um, there is a bunch of beautiful um, women of all ages who are um, out here um, doing a great job with uh, with getting the message about beauty, fashion, and personal styling. So I think that the beauty gurus here on YouTube are absolutely positively wonderful. Um, and those are the 10 questions. So 
hopefully all things fabulous 101 you get to um, check out this video um, and also check out my other videos on my channel and hopefully subscribe so it was great um, looking at your video I am subscribed to your channel um, be blessed and I look forward to the great work that you're doing here on YouTube keep up the good work honey bye